Hey, hello there guys. My name is Anthony and welcome to the third episode of my new Iron Man series. Once again, I've made some amazing gains and I would like to share that with you. The first goal I had this week was to complete the Temple of Ikov quest. There was no real reason behind it, but it's always good to complete quests. So, like you've seen, I trained my thieving to level 42 and I killed Cockatrice until I had collected 20 Limpet Roots, which are needed for the quest. There was only one thing I totally forgot about. For the Temple of Ikov quest, you need a U or Magic Bow, and I didn't have either of those. So I made up a plan to get a U Short Bow, but before this, I decided to kill some Spirit Trees. This gave me some nice magic experience, nature runes, and not to forget, the almighty rune axe. I was very lucky to get this drop since I was almost out of fire strike spells. Alright, back to my U short bow plan. After completing the fire making part in barbarian training, you get access to the ancient cavern. In this place, you can kill barbarian spirits and these actually drop you short bows. So I decided to get up some woodcutting and fire making levels to complete this training. When I went to the Barbarians with the Firebolt spell, I got some help from a friendly guy, and yes, even on Iron Man mode you can get help, and I got myself a U Shortbow. On the way I also got myself a Mithril Grapple, and that is really useful for certain achievement diaries. Lucky me. I finally completed the Temple of Ikov quest, and I got some nice rewards. Range experience, fletching experience, and an armor little pendant. This is a very useful Godwars item. And later I decided to do some more fletching and woodcutting, uh, because I wanted my cat to be fully grown again. So I got level 35 fletching and after that 44 woodcutting. Then I sold my cat to the civilians in West Arnie to get another 200 death runes. I wanted to do some more barrows, but first I needed to reach level 61 range to use my rune crossbow. After killing some cockatrice, I finally got the level I wanted. Unfortunately, I did not get any close scrolls on the way, but who knows, I might get some later. I started doing barrows and I was quite unlucky. I got some nice rune loot, but I didn't get a single barrows piece in 19 chests. I decided to give up on barrows for that time, but of course I would return, it is just a matter of time. I thought it was time to work on some crafting training, so I decided to complete the Night Sword, which is a prequest to the Elemental Workshop quests. I also got some nice smithing experience on the way, and after this quest I did the Elemental Workshop 1 and 2, and this got me to level 38 crafting in the end. I used some of my Molten Glass to get myself level 43 crafting, and after that I went back to Barrows again. On chest number 22 I got a tooth, half of a key, which was a complete troll. On chest number 24 I died, and if you've seen the stream, then you know why. On chest number 25 I looted nothing, which was quite funny, but then I looted chest number 26. Finally, I got my first item, and it was not the worst. A Varax skirt, one of the best Barrows pieces in the game. I was very happy of course with this loot, but of course, we still need many more items. I did a few more chests, but I didn't manage to get another piece, so I decided to go back to crafting training. I no live my way to level 57 crafting, and I got a maze random event. Crafting is quite boring, but with the method I'm using, it's not too bad experience. Level 57 was an amazing level to reach, because with this level, I can make green dragonite vamps, and elk it for money. So, that is what I did. I elked everything, and at the same time, I changed some agility. In the end, I got 277k gold and I trained my agility to level 40. I also bought my first piece of the graceful set, Graceful Gloves. After this, I thought it was time to take on a new quest, the Monkey Madness quest. Although I've completed this quest many times in the past, I did make some mistakes that ruined my time a little, but in the end it wasn't too bad because I managed to complete the quest anyway. Oh yeah, and if you know about this uh, easter egg where you have to give a monkey bananas to get a medium blue scroll, I tried doing this, but after 200 bananas, this greedy animal still didn't give me anything, so I gave up. The quest was finally completed, and I claimed my experience reward. This gave me an amazing boost to my combat stats and level. I reached level 40 plus defense as well, which means I'm able to wear rune armor. I got myself rune play legs and started playing the minigame Pest Control. I wanted to work out my way to get full void, so every now and then I will play some games to get this done. Uh, I first got myself 100 points, and in total you need 850 for the full range set. After this I went to Relaka to complete the Fremenic Trials quest. I bought myself a Berserker Helm and killed Rock Crabs until I reached level 45 defense. My account is getting stronger every day, guys. When I was killing the Rock Crabs, I also got myself a Clue Scroll. You will see that reward later. I first worked on some agility gains and got it to level 47 in the end. I bought another graceful item, the Graceful Hood. Then I started doing pest control again until 150 points. With this amount, I bought my first piece of the Void set, the Void Knight Gloves. Then I completed my clue that I got from the Rock Crabs, but I don't want to talk about the reward, I guess you understand why. Then I went to the Cockatrice once again to hunt for some medium clue scrolls. My first medium clue had a very bad loot unfortunately, runes, dagger, and once again, purple sweets. My second medium clue however was amazing. I completed the trial and got a white headband. 
This item is required for certain heart clues, and this is the only way to obtain the item, so of course, I was very happy with that. During the Crocodile's killing, I got my HP to level 58 and range level 63, and after this, I killed some thugs for some easy clue scrolls. The loots were awful again, but what do you expect? Once again, I went back to Barrows, and this time I didn't manage to get an item. Of course, the minigame is still fun to play, and it does train a lot of magic experience, so in the end, it was worth it. I also got many runes from the chest, because in total I had more than 1000 bloods and 3000 chaos runes. That is not too bad. To end the week, I decided to use my last charges for the Iron Blast spell on the Crazy Archaeologist to hopefully get some nice loots. I did do a few kills, but I didn't get anything special. I hope you enjoyed the summary video of my third week of playing, guys. As you can see, my account is still not great, but I am making progress every week, and soon enough, we will get to this higher content. If you enjoyed the video, it would be amazing if you could leave a like as well. Also, don't forget that I play on this account almost every day, live on Twitch. You can tune in whenever you want, and uh, it would be cool if you can come to say hi. I have the link down below in the description, so you can just click on that, and then you will find my Twitch channel. Well guys, that is it for this video, and uh, I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.